obviously it's got very serious undertones, but it's kind of got a lightness to it on the same mm. side as well. Um, was the humour kind of a conscious decision? Did you want to do that going in? As a filmmaker, I made a choice that I didn't want to make a dry uh, film for academics or experts who already know about the subject. For me, there are millions of people around the world who have no idea that partition happened. There are young people today in Britain who don't even know that Britain had an empire because it's not taught in schools anymore. So my, the challenge for me was to get as many people around the world uh, and young people to, to see this film, to learn about this history. So I went for uh, a very sort of um, epic, but populist genre, the great British uh, Raj costume drama. And that allowed me to tell the political story upstairs with Mountbatten negotiating uh, the future of India with Nehru and Gandhi and Jinnah and then the impact of those negotiations on ordinary people downstairs. And because I was talking about ordinary people, you know, I was able to bring in a slight lightness now and again uh, based on tr on truth, you know, events that had happened at the time. We put those stories in. So so there there's a scene with um, Chicken, for example, um, um, which adds a slight lightness. But ultimately, it is a human a tragedy what happened but for me the, the the film moves towards an ending where the human spirit prevails and hopefully the film is a healing film but also an, an inspiring film uh, for for our troubled times today we talked about how it's period how do you think that it will resonate today do you think that it's important that it comes out now when we started making the film uh, seven years ago uh, President Obama was there in the White House, uh, not a reality star. Um, there was no Syrian refugee crisis and there was no Brexit. Uh, the world is a completely different place from where it was when I first started making the movie. And, you know, what, what we see is the rise of hate and division and politicians using divide and rule, much like they did 70 years ago, in order to divide us and create fragmentation and violence and destruction. So the film is a timely reminder of what can happen if we allow politicians to use that. Um, in the end, it leads to death on a massive scale, which in the end doesn't benefit anybody.